Was it something, did I traumatize myself by doing something to other people? Did you get yes or no? No. Did I traumatize myself by doing something to myself? Yes. And, uh, okay, that's the key question in cure taking out any trauma. It's the key, at the end of finding out all about it, you ask yourself, did I do something to myself, did I do something to other people? You want to always find out if you started doing something to other people. It's never autumn. sometimes it's both. Okay? Okay, can yeah. you Can you remember that? If you, yeah. if you can't remember it, it's written down in the trauma lesson, and the trauma lesson is right here, I'll just show you. This is the yeah. trauma... Yeah. Hello there. Hello there. Okay. Now, uh, tell me what you got out of the work you did today with the, uh, like you watched the movie that we made the other day of you curing that trauma. And what, what did you get out of that? Uh, oh, great enjoyment, I must say. Absolutely, I, I absolutely loved it. It was, uh, it looked, uh, to see the movie was far better than making it. It was, it was absolutely lovely. Oh, I'm Enjoyed. so glad to hear it. Um, but for Tess, sorry? I'm, I'm really happy to hear you say that, that's, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, you did a brilliant job there, absolutely. It's, uh, it's fabulous stuff, Biot, it really is. Um, Thank you, I'm so, I'm so all, pleased to hear you uh, say that. Yeah, I tested for um, trauma, and what we actually did in that movie, <coughs> excuse me, is still clear. Um, that's fine. I tested for if there was any other trauma and what I actually found was not a past life trauma but a trauma from this life. Okay. Um, which I, would, I wasn't at all surprised about um, because it's uh, something I guessed was, would be there. And what happened then? What'd you do? Um, I haven't because I waited to see what you wanted to say about that. Um, <laughs> I did. <laughs> well, whenever you find something yeah, like that, you should always take it out immediately. That's what I have to say about it. Just immediately remove it. Right. Okay. What you were telling me you know, this morning is that uh, after we made that movie and you took out that trauma, and I want, I want you to test now that the trauma that we took out from your past life that was a contributing factor in your leukemia, have, is that trauma now cleared? Have I cleared it? Just test, have you cleared it? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, you remember in the, when we were making the uh, movie, at the end you tested no, that you hadn't cleared it and that you needed to talk to Ozzy. Yeah. And I've seen this happen before that, uh, like, after a while, you never did talk to Ozzy, right? No, I haven't, no. But no, the, because of the circumstances, I've not been able to. But the, but the trauma cleared anyway. It has, yes. Yeah, that, that often is the aftermath of the kind of thing that you did, that the trauma may not test as being cleared right at the end of the session, but a few hours later, if you check it, it's gone. Right. That sounds uh, 
you know, that's, that's, a, that's an off thing I've often seen in people who take trauma out. Okay. Now, um, after you did that trauma, you, you felt really good. Oh, absolutely. And you felt, absolutely. And you, yes. felt uh, you felt good yesterday too, right? When you were out shopping with your wife. Oh yes, 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 been absolutely fine. Still do feel great. Yes, wonderful. All this time after the trauma, you've been feeling great. And uh, you haven't really yeah. done very much more in Munich, I guess, have you? No. Like, have you been removing other things as you've been, you know, going throughout the day yesterday and this morning? Did, were you removing things or retesting well, things? When I, when, when, sorry, yeah. When I'm, when I'm driving, I normally go through um, everything like removing uh, pathologies, um, go through the various bodies um, to clear things. It's, it's an ongoing thing, yeah. I, whenever I'm not otherwise occupied, it's something you can do when you're driving. Um, and if I'm not occupied in anything else, um, that's, I, I go through it. I go through all the motions of clearing, yeah. And uh, so you've been finding pathologies, like yesterday and this morning. Even though you took the trauma out, you you still f tested positive for some pathologies here and there, yes? Yeah, that's right. So you were testing. Uh, what are some of the pathologies that you found in yourself over the last day and a half? Um, yeah, well, it was not, not anything that was identified, uh, but I, I cleared it anyway. So you mean you tested, on, you, but you've got a, you got a signal and you tested, like, do I have any pathologies, and you... And you tested yes, and then you took it out. That's right. But you didn't actually say, "Do I have any fungus? Do I have any rot? Do I have any?" You didn't do that. Uh, no, I haven't done that in the past twenty-four hours or so. Okay. Um, but that's something else that I do do. I've got a list that I go through, like you just said, fungus, rot, allergies. Um, it's quite a list. Um, that I actually go through. You know, that's something that I, I that, that I still do throughout the day. Yeah. And I've been doing that for 17 years throughout the day. A lot yeah, of the time I... I, do. I was doing it. I, I was running it through my head today whilst I was collecting vegetables in the garden um, this morning. Um, I was I, running it through my head, yeah. Okay, and and a lot of times I don't find any anything. I just go through it and I don't, and often also as I'm checking for it, I can feel something coming out, but I get a no, like I ask, do I have any fungus? And I feel something coming out, but I don't get a test. I get a no on it. So it's sort of like it clears instantly when I ask yeah. without, I, I never actually get a yes. <clears throat> now, uh, <clears throat> there's something I want to, uh, I want you to test. The other day, you used a word that I found to be very useful um, after I heard you use it, and I've been thinking about it for several days. And the word is bombarded. You probably don't even remember saying that. Okay. You probably don't remember it, but I've been, I remembered it and I've been thinking about it no. over, over and over again. And what you said was that no. you felt you were going to, you, you had talked to an old friend of yours and you didn't feel like it was appropriate for you to bombard him with the Munichs right at the beginning of the conversation. Remember that? Oh, right, yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I remember saying that. Now so, you've reminded me. So I want to I want you to test um, this question about yourself. Ask this question: Do I, meaning David, do I need to be bombarded with Immunix?
No. Okay. Um, funny thing about that. When I test that, I get yes about you. Right. And you get no. And that's, so that's a place where we... And no. by, by the way, when I was, I was thinking about doing this with you earlier, and I realized that you would test no on it. And I knew that already before, you, before I asked you to test it. I knew you would test no, and I was testing yes about it. And so I decided that this was a really important thing to talk about with you and make, you know, a movie about. Because okay. you, as, most, as with most people, you do not know what you need. That's a problem that most people have, is that they don't know what they need. They often don't know what they want, either. People, see, people are switched. That's why they're sick, because they're switched. And when you're switched, the actual definition of being switched is that you want the exact opposite of what you want or need. Now, I realize that that makes absolutely no sense, what I just said. You know, how could you want the opposite of what you want? But that is what people do when they're switched. They want what they, what they don't want and they don't want what they want. And I, I mean, yeah. it, I know it's absolutely nonsensical, and, but most of the things that we work with, like when we cure these diseases, the things that we work with really don't make any sense. And also, they're things that nobody else knows but us, generally. Because how could anybody know that you were going to test for a trauma that happened 1,300 years ago as a cause of your leukemia. Like your doctor is certainly not going to find this, you know, your doctor's not going to examine you and go, oh, hmm, you know, he takes a stethoscope off your heart and he says, oh, hmm, David, you know, it looks like you got a trauma from 1,300 years ago stuck in there and that's what's causing this leukemia, boy. <laughs> Let's just, we're just going to have to take that sucker out and you're going you to be just fine. <laughs> we can do that on Thursday if that's okay with you. <laughs> we make a 10 o'clock appointment and remove that trauma for you. <laughs> they don't do that because they don't know, you know. And so most of this stuff is pretty strange. We are dealing with an alien reality that people don't understand. You know how you were saying your wife and son aren't interested in it? They, they can't be not interested yeah. in it. They don't know what it is. So it's impossible for them to be not interested or interested. Like you can only not be interested in something that you know what it is. See what I mean? Like I'm not interested in, you know, uh, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not interested in pre-Columbian art or that much because I know what pre-Columbian art is. Get it? You have to know what something is to be disinterested in it, for not to be interested in it. They don't know what it is. They have no idea what you're doing or what we're doing. It's a completely alien reality. Like they, no, Nobody's frame of reference has ever prepared them for this. Am I making any sense to you? Yes, you are. Yes, yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. <clears throat> so also, when I was testing about your trauma, see, when you were testing your trauma, I was also testing it. And this is something that we do when we test for trauma sometimes. Like, but the thing is that you and I got different dates for the trauma. The date that I got was around... You, you got, you got 1330. 1330, that's right. I got 1360. See, I tested that the trauma <laughs> was 640 years ago. No, wait a minute, I got, si then I got 1670. I got 1370 because it's now 2010. So I tested that it was 640 years ago 
which was which would be 1370 and also you tested that it wasn't on earth and I tested that it was on earth so we okay. we tested differently and I didn't say anything about it because I figured you were clearing something and I should just let you run with it but I was still checking it you know while you were doing it and this is but this is another example of us getting a different answer about something see the thing about bombarding just to get back to bombarding is yeah. I was okay I was talking to a woman yesterday named Diana and Diana wants to um, she wants to change she feels as though there is that she has she's in very good shape she's a very accomplished person spiritually she's a rolfer she has two kids um, she's living a great life and she really loves her life and uh, but she does feel like she has some changes she wants to make and she knows that she can make she can use this to make the changes I'm planning on making some movies with her and um, <clears throat> she was t she was telling me about other spiritual disciplines that she's done and one of them she told me about was Vedanta I don't know if you've ever heard of Vedanta but Vedanta happens to be one of the very first things I ever studied in the spiritual area I, I guess it was probably half a century ago at this point I was probably around 15 years old 15 or 16 years old and I got a book on Vedanta and I got some other you know other books and read things on it in other books and so on and she was saying that the essence and I couldn't even understand when she was telling me that she had studied Vedanta I couldn't understand what the word that she was saying and I I kept saying what did you say what was it what? and she had to repeat it like seven times before I could hear it and then I went oh my god you you're saying Vedanta you know and <clears throat> she was telling me that the essence of Vedanta is that you know you allow things to come up you kind of sit in a this is how you do it I mean you you kind of sit in a in a in a watchful and waiting way it's sort of like Zen meditation okay it's, it's very similar to Zen like you sort of sit and you you let your thoughts and the things that come out of you just let them emerge and then you 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 sort of like clear them that way you know what I'm saying yeah like it's a it's a clearing it's a way of clearing things you ever hear of it no it's not something I'm familiar with at all well I've heard of everything so I heard of that and did it and all and okay and see the thing about this I was telling her is that what we're doing is the exact mirror image of that what we do is you know how like you you took out that trauma and you were feeling good right yeah well I know the feeling because I always felt great when I took out a trauma and what you did with that is you kind of went along and you like you know you tested yourself for some pathologies and so on you did some work on yourself but you didn't really you know like dig into immunics you know you just kind of like you know were looking at maybe where you might clear something and take it out what we have to do when I, this is what I was telling Diana is we have to actually when we clear something and are feeling great that is the moment that's the moment when we we have to like dig deeper into ourselves and really get to, in other words we've got to bombard ourselves that bombard is a great word and it's what everybody needs because for example when you send out when you share this on Facebook you know the person who sees it looks at it and goes oh that's nice and they, they see it as a nice thought and then they move on and do something else like they it doesn't they don't connect with it you with me you understand yeah, uh -huh. they have to be bombarded yeah they have to see it a hundred times and it but it's the same with us like see 
I took out all my past life trauma, and this is what it looked like. It sort of looked like what you did. It, it was back, and by the way, I'm not suggesting that you should take out all your past life trauma. I think you should remove other things, like the thousands of things in the web college. Um, of those things, there are many of those things that are a lot more urgent for you to do than do, you know, a lot of trauma. However, I have to say to you, that when I was out in the park, right, and I decided I was going to take all my past life trauma out, and I would take out a trauma, and I would feel like so calm. I mean, I was like, I was, it was like I had, I had dropped acid. I mean, I was walking around like, like just looking at the trees, and I was studying the bark, and I was going, oh my God, that's so beautiful. You know, I was, I, was, I was like looking on the ground at the moss, you know, I was going, oh God, this is just so beautiful. And it was because I had erased something that was really troubling me, even though I wasn't even aware of it. I didn't even know it was there. But I dug in, found it, took it out, it was gone, and I felt great. I just felt wonderful. And then I would get up and I'd start walking after a few minutes of enjoying my calm state, my clear state. After about five or ten minutes, I knew, I just knew, I said, okay, I'm going to test. Should I take out another trauma? And I would get yes on that. And then I'd do another one. And I would always start out by saying something like, like, is there another trauma that would be the, you know, that's, that it would be the number one thing I should look at right now and when I tested yes. Sometimes I would test no and then I would ask, okay, is it a pathology? Is it an immune dysfunction? And that's how I started studying and finding, because see, I took out my trauma before I actually accessed the list of functions. And when I start, there was a point where I started to realize, like, I've got to find out what the functions are because I was testing that I had some of them that were missing and there were some of them that were lowered and some of them were blocked and some of them were damaged and all these different things happen, can happen to your functions, you know? And one of the functions is acumen. And I realized without acumen you can't do anything. <laughs> so I said, okay, I better, I better really start putting this stuff in, you know? I gotta, or removing the blocks or whatever it is I gotta do to make these functions actually function, you know? <laughs> so I realized, test this question. Um, t is there, okay, well you tested that there's another trauma from, a, from a, this life. Uh, yes. that you uh, need to, you know, okay. <clears throat> uh, I'll just say this as an experienced person coming from the, you know, the experience that I've had with this. The minute you found that trauma, you should have removed it without and you should have really found out all about it, like when it happened, where it was, who, who was involved, what you did, and how especially, like, you know, let me just ask you one question about the trauma from this lifetime, okay? Yep. Test this question. Did I, did I traumatize myself by doing something to other people when I, you know, as, as a result of that, you know, as a reaction to that trauma, that incident? Was it something, did I traumatize myself by doing something to other people? Did you get yes or no? No. Did I traumatize myself by doing something to myself? Yes. And, uh, okay, that's the key question in cure, taking out any trauma. It's the key. At the end of finding out all about it, you ask yourself, did I do something to myself? Did I do something to other people? You want to always find out if you started doing something to other people. It's never autumn. Sometimes it's both. Okay? Okay. Can, yeah. you, can you remember that? If you, yeah. If you can't remember it, it's written down in the trauma lesson. And the trauma lesson is right here, I'll just show you. 
This is the troll. This is the troll <laughs> Wait, you can't see it. I'm not sharing my screen. But that's okay. I'll just do it for the camera. But you know where it is. It's the trauma lesson and trauma from this and other lives. And let me just ask you to test for some of these things that are in the lesson, okay? Um, yeah. Ask, do I need to look at uncleared trauma convert to these things? You got a yes or no? Do I need to just clear, clarify that for me? Do I need to look at the page called Uncleared Trauma, look at these things, convert to these things? These are pages. These are lessons. Do I need to do that lesson? Just see if you get a signal on that lesson. Yes. Okay. Well, that's probably, you know, I don't probably need to say any more to you about it. That you know, there's probably other ones there. Same way, there's there's a whole list of like probably 15 things you need to test through, and that should have been done right after you got off the phone with me two days ago. You need to be bombarded. You may not test for it, but you still need it. You with me? Yes. You, you need to bombard yourself and other people because other people do not let it in unless they are bombarded and even then they may just put you out of their lives which needs to be okay with you because if they're not going to help themselves then there's really nothing you know if there's nothing you can do for them you 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 just have to give it your best shot okay you understand what I'm saying yes yeah. You just have to try with people. And, you know, as far as your family goes, you know, your family you're not going to get out of your lives. So eventually they're going to get involved with this. Okay. They will get it. They will do this eventually because they are, you know, it's like Kathy's husband. Kathy's husband didn't do this for the first five years that she was doing it. And then he finally realized what happened was, you know, she and her son never got sick. They never, they just stopped getting sick. They never got sick again. And then one day he got scared for whatever reason, he got scared that he had cancer. And all of a sudden he called me up and asked to be on the Cure Show. <laughs> he just got worried, he just was worried enough to get involved, you know, he needed it. He realized he better do it. <laughs> So, so now he does it, you know? And yeah. he, he didn't was have... That, was that... Huh? Was that the lady I read about on the kill drive or somewhere? Yeah. Um, said that she was helping herself and a four-year-old son yeah. sat there and took something out and her husband was upstairs ill and wasn't as interested. Yeah, right. That, but that was written... She wrote that like seven years ago. <laughs> yeah, well, I've read it, yeah. Yeah, he's been interested for about three years. <laughs> yeah, she said, you, you do the math. Or as we say in the UK, maths. He ended yeah. up doing the math. In the end, they do the math. <laughs> it, all, it all works out. When they live with you, they do it, you know. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So... <clears throat> Mr. Bombardier, I will leave you with this. Uh, this is a good uh, movie for the trauma page. Um, just remember that in, in removing trauma, the essence of taking a trauma out is you simply find out what it was that you did to yourself or other people or both. And once you know that, you will probably, almost every last time I've ever seen anybody do this, they instantly tested that the trauma was removed. Okay. So there ain't much to it. It's really easy to take trauma out. Yeah, fine. I will do that. <laughs> okay. Well, I know you will. Now, um, get Facebook up where you were looking at uh, the movie that we made together, you know, that, that movie that you watched today, right? Yep. And uh, 
you know, click share, okay? Yeah, I did put a bit of something on there. I can't remember what it was. Well, Have you seen it? I <coughs> let me let me look let me look at let me look at what you said, and I'll read it into the. Uh, maybe I'll just read it into the old. Uh, One second here. Let me look. Uh, now, um, it, you shared it from your thing. Here it is. The, it's, yeah, what you wrote was, this was without any doubt the most fabulous experience ever in my five-year association with the Munich. Thank you, Bart. I just love it. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that was... Uh, that was a good one. I really, yeah, that was good. By the way, David, have I ever t mentioned to you that you look a little like Santa Claus? <laughs> 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 I just yeah, had a. Bit, yeah, it was. Um, <clears throat> also, from the from the distance, I might say, um, Sean Connery has been one of the pop most popular one, rather than Santa Claus. Right. Well, maybe you do look a little like Sean Connery too. You know what I was thinking, though, was if. If we do a remake of Miracle on 34th Street, this might be <laughs> your screen test for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, buddy. Yeah. Well, I'll see. I'll see you at the assistance meeting tomorrow. Keep working. Okay. Bombard Thanks, yourself. Yeah. And you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Area code eight one three six seven two three four one nine.